there honey buns and welcome to Forgotten Hollow. As you know, I have been giving cast makeovers to all the townies and all the worlds in Sims 4 and we are finally here in Forgotten Hollow to give a makeover to the immortals Count Vladislav Strahd the fourth and Lilith and Caleb Vator. I was gonna make two separate videos of the household makeovers but then I thought why would I do that for only three sims? So I will be giving all the people of this small forgotten hollow a makeover starting with none other than Count Vladislav Strat the 4th Count Vladislav Strat the 4th is the latest descendant to occupy Strat mansion his oddly similar looking line of ancestors has resided here since the founding of Forgotten Hollow <laughs> Okay, he's a mean little vampire, isn't he? Just to be clear, I'm not here- Okay, calm down, Vlad. As I was saying, I'm not just here to give him a normal makeover. I will be giving him a Vladdy Daddy makeover. I think Lil Simzy calls him like that. Shout out to you. You're awesome. Thank you so much for existing and showing me how awesome The Sims 4 is. I'm going to be changing him up physically as well as clothes-wise. So be prepared to thirst over Vladislav Trap the 4th. Did I pronounce that right? I don't know. And also, I have downloaded a lot of Vampire New CC, which I'm going to be using for this video. But before we do, let's give you a plastic surgery on your face, honey, because I know you've lived for four generations, but that doesn't mean that you can't look good. And what is up with his nose? What is this? Oh, I thought that's what they used to cover Connecticut when it rained. <laughs> And I know this is his human form, but I really kind of want to give him vampire teeth even in this form. Maybe some bloody ones though. No, no. Okay, in the human form, I'm going to give him normal ones. But in his vampire form, I'm going to give him all bloody ones. Because, you know, he likes drinking the blood of his prey and, you know, preying on them. Okay, this obscure skin number 18 is actually perfect for you. So I'm going to be giving you that one. And also his eyebrows are MM Sims and number 7. And you're already looking all better. Look at you. Yes, that's right. I did not forget your mustache. In fact, you know what I did? I went on ahead and downloaded some custom content for you. Oh my god, I did not put my vampire CC. An idiot, that's what I am. Give me a moment so that I can put in my vampire CC that I just downloaded and I'll be right back. Okay, my friends, I am back and the beard should be here now. It's the one and only- Oh god. Oh my god, this does not look good. In that case, I might have to stick to the original, which I think was this, no? Oh, that's so sad. I thought I got the greatest beard of all time, but I didn't. But this is still fun. He still looks... He's not done yet. Okay, his eyes are blue, which is real cool. I don't know why they appear black here, but it's fine. We're just gonna find you some nice blue normal eyes or oh. Shall we go crazy? No, he looks like a dead fish. This is perfect. Just gonna make him a little bit bigger. His lips are actually fine, so I guess the only thing left would be hair. He looks hot. Okay, there's also this hair, which is pretty cute. Wow, this is crazy. This nightcrawler hair is not bad as well. But you know what? I feel really drawn to this mood hair and he just looks so good. Like, look at the guy. He looks so much better than he did before. This is also pretty cool, the outline of the eyes, but he doesn't have that, so I'm not gonna give him any. And also, I'm not gonna give him eyelashes because he's lived for so long that they've probably all fallen off. And now, let's go to the body. You have a full-on body suit. I downloaded CC for that, do not worry. And oh my god, what has happened? Have there been not enough sim blood for you to drink, my friend? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna give you some muscle mass because you should have it. And what the hell is this? Whatever. Now, let's look into all the CC that I've downloaded. Please calm down. So I have this, which is literally what he had on before in CC form and looking better. I'm also gonna be linking this in the description below in case you guys want to make Vladdy look better. There are more swatches and I like the red thing going on here. So I'm gonna keep him like this. He had formal shoes on. So let me find those real quick. There they are. What happened? No! Vladdy stopped my game! No, I didn't save it. I have to begin all over again. <laughs> I didn't save it. <laughs> By the way, his eyes are prawn line number 158. I think I forgot to say that before. It didn't even- Why? Why are you doing this to me right now? I'm just gonna go crazy! Calm down, I have to see your face. What the damn hell? What's going on with this? I even turned off my virus system. Like, what? what is it? I'm getting seriously mad over this game. I'm honest. Ugh! Oh my god. 
my god. It's the highlighter! You are under arrest! You know what? Maybe until the game loads we can read some facts about Vlad. He has a painting called Count Vladislav Strat the First. He turned Miss Helen to a vampire who then turned Caleb. Oh my god, he turned Caleb's sister Lilith but turned to a vampire. I never knew that before. That's so cool. There is a statue in the middle of town. Sims locals believe it to be Vlad's grandfather, but the local vampires know that it is a Vlad himself. He also has a cousin named Arthur Climate, though the Climates do not know that Vlad is a vampire. Vampire. I'm gonna read some fun facts about Vlad after I finish his vampire form because I'm not gonna touch his human form anymore I think he looks pretty good the way he does. Maybe he could have those eyes or there are these eyes this is very hard, but I like these eyes because look, they kind of seem red at the end because you know, too much drinking, too much blood. And now I'm gonna give you the bloody teeth because you've been drinking the blood of innocent prey. Also, I could do this kind of thing. Okay, so this is called Lip Number Seven by Pale Secret. I kind of want to give him an earring. I know that he did not have one, okay? But he's a vampire and I feel like he'd pierce his ear after 200 years of living. I don't think there's anything more that I can give you, Vlad. I think you're looking pretty good in your vampire form. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna give you a little bit more blood on your mouth because you can't get enough of them, can ya? Okay, I think this is gonna be it. Can you do a final hello for us? Yes, there you go. You're beautiful. You can eat me if you want. What? Okay, guys, I think this is the final thing we needed to do for Vlad. You can go on ahead and tell me if you like him in the comments down below. But now let's move on to the Vtors. The Vtor siblings move into Forgotten Hollow a few years ago and are striving to make it their home. This can be quite challenging at times since they are not exactly on best terms with Vladi. But when asked, they only ever mention a difference in their culinary tastes. And I would like to start with Caleb because I want to save up the girl for last because she's gonna be most fun. And Caleb, darling, let's let's learn a little bit about you. He is a good vampire. He is materialistic, a foodie, and ambitious. The vampire form is the same, which is cool. He lives together with his sister Lilith, and he's the cousin of werewolf Lily Zoo. He hasn't any skills. He wants to learn alternative ways to drink plasma, and because of this, he allegedly does not not get along with the grand vampire Vladdy. Okay, so, so he's technically a good vampire who doesn't want to drink human blood. He also doesn't know his cousin Lily Zoo, which is a common problem in The Sims 4, which is lacking when it comes to crossback features. Also, this Lily Zoo is from the new werewolf pack. In the teaser trailer of Vampire, Caleb is seen flirting with a male sim and two female sims, leading to the speculation that he may be bisexual. And in the same video, he has been turned into a vampire by Miss Hell, who was turned by Vladdy. Even though Caleb's family bio implies that he may be in a negative relationship with Vladi, he does not know him at the start of the game. According to a blog post by Vlad, the siblings also object to Vlad's wardrobe choices, personal hygiene, and showing his dark form in public. At high moon, Vlad and Caleb once had a duel which Vlad won. And according to his cousin Lily, Caleb was a gentle soul as a child. Caleb and his sister Lilith grew up with Lily, and all three cousins are not originally from the world they live in now, Forgotten Hollow and Moonwood Mill, instead all moved to their respective worlds after being transformed into a cult. Okay, you're gonna have only clean teeth because apparently you do not want to kill your prey. Your eyebrows are really thick. I'm not gonna be playing too much with his features because I actually like how he looks. I'm just gonna fix up the eyebrows because that's a common problem in Sims and okay, oh, 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 oh. I like this. This is prowl line number 134 and I immediately like the skin number 22 overlay obscura. There are these two that I like but the thing is I like in the first one that he has this kind kind of dark under eyes because you know he's a vampire he technically if he doesn't drink blood he becomes all or at least I like to believe that okay to you I am gonna give eyelashes because you haven't lived for 200 years but they're gonna be just these light ones okay you cannot even see them but they're there that makes me calm he did have some eyeliner oh this is so cute so length eyes number 87 are the ones that I'm gonna be using he had an earring this Bermuda triangle kind of thing okay there are not a lot of options here I could give him like this kind of thing that Vlad had I could also go crazy but I don't wanna I don't want to do that. I'm just gonna keep this thing on. I'm gonna say that vampires in my head wear it. He had no beard, thank god, so let's look for your hair. Okay, listen to me guys. I know that he did not have this hair on before, but how cute does he look? How vampire-y does he look? 
There's this, even though it should technically be on the other side. But I just like this one more, so I'm gonna be keeping that one. And also, now let's move on to your clothes. It's a full-on outfit again, which is just great. But you know what? I downloaded some other stuff. There is this. I know it's weird. It isn't what he originally wore, but I really like how it stays on him. Like, look, he looks so vampire-y, like... Yes! Okay, I know he's not wearing boots, but how much do they suit him? Wow, okay, Caleb, I think I just fell in love with you. Let's go into his vampire form and now unlink them. You know what I'm gonna give him? Maybe sometimes he's so sad that he eats human blood that he cries. Blood. So something like this. <gasps> yes! This is eyeliner number six by a pale secret again. Maybe just a little dirt because you know, he doesn't want to do this. Okay, yeah, I'm totally seeing this. This is so pretty. Now, just in case my game goes wild again, I'm gonna be saving this and coming back to do a Lilith. So this is a Lilith and this is her dark form, which by the way, really scares the crap out of me. Now let's read a little bit about her as well. She hasn't any skills, just like her brother. She was turned into a vampire and trained in the dark arts by Vladi. So he didn't just turn her, he trained her to be one as well. <gasps> No. Even though Lilith's family bio implies that she shares her brother's reluctance of drinking human blood, she does not share his guilty drinker vampire weakness. She's crazy. Oh my god, she's cheeky. Yes, I love you. Sexy. According to her cousin Lily, the werewolf, Lilith has always had a dark side. Oh my god, okay, this is gonna be cool because she's gonna be evil! Oh, I'm excited. She also wants a vampire family. She is outgoing, active, and creative. I'm not gonna comment. I'm not gonna comment on your face even though I want to. Okay, there we go. Just gonna open your eyes some more. Not gonna change anything else. Let's look for skin details. Let's see number 21, I think this is. How did I know that this is gonna be perfect? I do not know. She actually seems so cute. I'm just gonna give her her vampire tea. Did she have any piercings on? No, she did not. Now I'm gonna try to copy her makeup, which is just wild. Okay, I'm gonna be using this eyeshadow. It has no name, so I don't know what to tell you. And I downloaded this especially for her. Let me just see if I have it in blue. I do. Look, if you can look closely, you can see some bat wings coming out of her eyeliner. And I think that is really cute. I'm gonna link this eyeliner in my description. She kind of has this purple lipstick on. No one knows why. Okay. I know these are no purple lips, but I think they really suit her. They just suit the vibe that she gives out. And now let me give you some eyes and oh, eyelashes. I totally forgot. I think she'd put fake eyelashes. So let me just find some like these kind, you know, something crazy. So I'm going to give her the Kiko eyelashes and now let's find you some eyes. Maybe like your brother's eyes. I just don't know what I used for him. So let me check. So it's Selang eyes number 87. Yeah, I'm going to use the darkest tone just because it's her. And now my favorite part. Hair time. This is cute too, but I'm using this in my not so berry challenge and I don't like the idea that a vampire is also the way my orange air is looking, but at the same time they're evil and they have a dark side to themselves. So maybe I could. I know this is not the original look, but I kind of like the idea that she has braids as well. This is also kind of cute because, you know, maybe she put her hair into bun buns. But you know what? I like this crazy hair most. So I think I'm going to leave her with this one. I know it has no bangs, but wait a minute. I may have bangs. I have bangs, you guys. I am the best. This is from... I'm just gonna write the name down because I know I won't pronounce it right But I think this is actually perfect looking for you. So yay. Let's move on to clothes now I got some clothes for her too. There it is. This is so freaking cute I am going to link this dress in the description as well Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it in yellow and black because her top was yellow and her pants are black And I'm gonna keep the boot thing going on, but of course they're gonna be prettier than the older ones I know she does not have leggings on but I like these kind of leggings on her because they're vampire-y. Okay, let's go into her dark form. She has things on her mouth. That's cool. Okay, let's give you a lot of blood on your mouth because you're crazy. You know, you're crazy and you have a dark side. Maybe I should give her some tears too just because maybe she drinks so much blood that it comes out out of her eyes as well. And her brother thinks, oh, you know, she's sad of killing someone, but no, she just had her fill. So I think I am also done with Lilith who's all ready to go and... <sighs> on people. I am pretty much in love with the way that she looks. 
and Caleb before and after. I think he's looking like a charming vampire now. You can go on ahead and tell me what you think of them in the comments down below. You can also tell me which one is your favorite vampire. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you had a nice time watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you never miss any future Tanika's makeovers. And I hope to catch you in another video. Bye!